Now then boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome to a new series on the channel. Now, I've owned and armed about this back and forth on who we were going to do for the next series, and I've settled with Blackburn. Now, Blackburn are ex-Premier League winners, and there's not many teams that are in that bracket. And they've been in the Championship now for a long time. I think it's about time someone took them from the Championship back up to the highs. So we're going to hopefully try and win a Premier League and more with this Blackburn side. Now, a lot of you guys have been clambering for an RTG. If I'm being 100% honest, I, I genuinely just don't know have the time to pick a team right down at the bottom basement of League 2 and bring them up to the Premiership and have success. But we should have enough time to do this with Blackburn. So I guess this is somewhat of an RTG. Now the plan with this save is it will just go on for as long as it takes and then we will do shorter big team saves around it. There's going to be another season of Tottenham coming up so you haven't seen the end of the first season you've already got the guarantee that there will be a season after that. I'm not giving away any spoilers of what happens in that one. Also, if you are new, this is your first series here on the channel. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you go on to enjoy the video. I'm going to have the tedious task of going through and doing all the training again. But first of all, let's meet the team. Now, this is the current Blackburn squad that we have. There's a lot of players in this team, so I'm probably going to look to trim down the squad instantly. I'm fairly familiar with the team because I did a personal football manager save with this squad offline so we, we've got some decent players though there are some stars in the team Two of the biggest ones to note are ben barrett and diaz we're probably going to offer him a new contract but if we don't get promoted this season we're going to have in our mindset that he will probably be gone from the club he's 23 but i still want him on that new contract because we'll make a lot of money off of barrett and diaz he's also by far the best rated player in this squad and then the next big name is is bradley dak He's 71 rated overall, so he's not really got the greatest of rating. Him and Buckley actually share the same overall. I guess he's one of the bigger name players when it comes to this Blackburn team. Also, it should be noted, there's some decent young players in this team that I'm looking forward to get to use. So, Adam Vorton is one of those, but th there's a few in here. We don't start off with the worst squad in the league, and we also have some decent youngsters now this is what they've got us playing at the minute but if i be 100 percent honest i don't think this gets the best out of some of our players i say some of those players mainly i mean dolan i i think this guy's gonna be unreal for us in this series he's gonna grow a lot i want him playing as much football as possible and without playing wingers he's not gonna do that now we could play him as a striker but i don't know i just want to play a different formation we've just come from playing free at the back right so this is what i've got us playing for now it's going to be a 4-2-3-1 I, I don't know how this is going to work out but it does use our better players we're a little bit weak at center mid and we're weak out on the left we we need to figure out what we're going to do with the left hand side but it does allow us to use dolan and hedges as well two of our better players we could have them out on the wing we've got plenty of good backup for now with deloney hurst and gallagher up top so we've got backup for berita diaz and we've got a good backup at cam as well now, something i want to utilize in this save is going for good talent in the bigger sides that aren't going to get game time as well as picking off decent players from around us if you watch the original rtg series that's what we did a lot with players like elliot list instead of just picking the really well-known wonder kids a big thing in this series is actually going to be the youth academy we don't have one of those young superstar players in the team straight off the bat which i love and i don't actually think really any of these players here are going to do a job for us we're just going to release them all because apart from this guy i mean he looks like potentially the best player but i'm not feeling him as a center forward I, i'm not really feeling him as anything beyond maybe a winger and he's left footed let's try him as left midfield we'll see what his rating is but again i, I don't think he's going to amount to anything and we're going to send our initial youth scout off in england so that's where we're going to send the first scout we send him there for nine months and we're just going to do any and then we're going to hire a second scout as you can see our budget here is pretty decent at 13 million we're going to hire a second scout a decent one but not someone who's ridiculous this guy from northern ireland then you guys are going to get to choose where he goes that is all important in the comments right now you guys can make that decision and decide where we send him and you guys to have a huge input in the academy this year i really do now, as you saw there the budget is pretty sizable 12 million so we are going to be able to make some some transfers i'm gonna go list a bunch of players i don't think we need first so we've gone on we've added some players to the list and actually not as many as i thought i want to really get the opportunity to assess some of these players now i'm not going to do tons of business here in the summer window i'm going to give you guys the opportunity to get a lot of your suggestions in and then we'll do the majority of the business in the january transfer window but these are just players i don't feel we need there's one loan there for leonard he's 18 so we'll see how he gets on uh, and the rest is just bringing some money in now sammy could be decent but i can't say his last name that's probably never going to change and I'm not putting myself through that pain here in season number one. I'm just not doing it. Now, we're also converting Dylan Markambe, ex-Spurs lad. Good player, good on the ball, to a left midfielder. That will hopefully help us 
in the long term. We'll see how he gets on there. We still need that left mid, though. I didn't actually realize how quickly this season comes around. I think we still play the preseason tournament in between. I don't know. Maybe you only do the group stage in the championship. Who knows? We do start the season against Reading. We've got Luton in there, Wigan. It's not a bad start to the season, apart from... Rayleigh, Burnley, and Watford. We should be able to pick up some points here early on. Also, in the background, we've just been scouting some players, adding some to the list. Of course, we want a left mid and we want a centre mid before the end of this transfer window. And I'm not going to lie, I've been a little bit biased. I've, I've genuinely just gone to certain clubs that I prefer. But I think we might be close to making our first signing. And I actually think that first signing is going to be Jason Knight. Versatility at this level is fantastic. Derby, of course, getting relegated. And Jason Knight is a very good player. Centre mid and left mid. Perfect that he could play those two positions. He's pretty creative as as well and very good on the football so i do believe that jason knight will be our first signing of this career mode i've added a whole host of players we're going to play this first game first and see how teams get on some of these players here of course are for the future i thought an interesting one was reese nelson in reality i don't feel like a blackburn would be able to sign reese nelson but he's going to be out of contract at the end of this season he's only 73 rated so value on the game isn't ridiculous and we've got the budget the borders backed yorkie so he is actually a player that we could potentially Potentially sign. Two of the players I was really interested potentially for the left side though were going to be on a dimmer and Forsu, but then I've scouted Barry McKay. Oh, he's 27. Barry McKay's a very good player. Look at that speed, acceleration, balance, agility. I, I mean, he could suit us for one or two or maybe three seasons. He could be the kind of player we could bring in. He's not going to cost a bomb either. It's not going to be a ridiculously expensive signing. Just a bit of food for thought for ourselves, but let's pick the team to take on Reading. And we're going to go with the starting 11 that you guys have already seen. This is the strongest starting 11, and it's all up in training. So we are going to create a second one now in order to get match sharpness for the rest of the squad. This squad is raring and ready to go, and hopefully pick up a win on our championship debut. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really watched much championships since Leeds have been there. I know everyone says, oh, I'll keep in touch with the league, but I just haven't. And apart from seeing odd bits and knowing about certain players, I have no idea how good Reading are. I feel like they're not that good, but I don't know. Let me know down below. Would this be a great victory for us? Our first home game of the season as well. And you always want to impress in the home game. Now, I have been playing with Tottenham the entirety of this FIFA so I don't know what it's like to have players that are a little bit more sluggish, aren't that good on the ball. I, I genuinely have no idea how this is going to go. I have to get used to a change in formation as well. I've not played this formation, I don't think, on FIFA. So this is going to take me a, a hot minute to get used to. Could we fire off a shot here? We can't. It's not a good shot. I've changed none of the player instructions because I like to just see how it's going to play first. And then we'll probably tweak the instructions after that. That's not bad ball from Diaz. It's a poor shot. Hit it with his uh, left foot. Never going anywhere. I will tweak the player instructions as time goes on. I, I don't want to jump in and do it instantly. But I'll kind of see what I like from each player. And then we'll we'll tweak the roles. And what I want them to do. This is nice play. Good shot. What a save from Kaminsky. Play that one forward now. Sammy. Can I whip in a good ball? I can't. That's not a bad ball. Diaz just can't get his head onto it. Not a bad half of football. We haven't really created... Again, it's going to take me a while to learn this squad. It's going to take me a while to learn this league. Because... The players play, they just feel very, very different right now. Especially when you consider where we're at with that Tottenham. Especially when you consider where we're at with that Tottenham squad. It's uh, it's a beastly squad right now. And I'm trying to repeat some of the same things with the players we've got out there on the pitch. And it's it's not really working. Reading trying to pile forward again. It's not really worked out for them this time. And get that one across then to the Dak. Dak then is going to try and... Put that one over to Sammy. And again, I don't think we've had a shot yet. I haven't really had a shot, but I mean, I've got a free kick here. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm just going to hit this with a good chunk of power and just see what Berriton Diaz could do. I mean, it's it's horrendous, but it's on target. This is a nice play, though. Berriton Diaz. Can I get off a shot? I can. It's miles wide, but I mean, we haven't really created much else. Ellen and Diaz doing really well there to pressure. Oh, they've given it away. They've given it away in the end. It's a poor shot. Should have passed it. He took forever to get that under control. It was just one of those things I'm not expecting. I did not expect it to take him that long to control the football. And I'd already hit shoot. That's going to be the full-time whistle. It's our first game. It's our first experience and taste of championship football. And what life's going to be like with these players. Just got to figure out how to score a goal. I think we defended pretty well. I could not get anything going there, though, going forward. Luckily, Kaminsky had a good game. Now I have to figure out the personnel. I'm going to go in and tweak the tactic now, though, instantly. We've gone in and done the tactics. This is going to be the tactic. We're going to pressure on heavy touch. Like I say, I want us to be aggressive. 
I want us to try and win the ball back. A fast build up, forward runs, and, and not as much width. Just more people getting into the box, really. And when it comes to instructions, not much. Dak is going to have free run because he's good at that, but I want him to get into the box for crosses. Diaz staying forward, stay central. And both wingers, I want to get in behind and cut inside. And that's literally it. That is all I have told them to do. Also gone in there now and set up a second team. I can't recommend this enough. This is the perfect way for you to build sharpness for the players that aren't starting in your starting 11. And hopefully they'll get the sharpness that they need to have impacts off the bench. In future episodes, this might be one that we would accept, but Thomas Kaminsky is going to go nowhere. I, I'm really not selling anyone I don't want to in this first window. Maybe not even in the second window. Try and keep the squad as together as possible for this first season. Oh, my first scout report back, which is great news if you believe that we're going to find someone great. Teddy Little, we're going to lie, the only player worth anything. 325,000. I mean, that's not awful. He's 15 as well, so there's so much room for him to grow. Get Teddy Little signed up. The rest, I'm not really feeling. But let's take a good look at Teddy Little. So they're saying he's a winger, and I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Dribbling and pace. I mean, he's basically just very physical. We've got him down as a right mid already, which, again, I'm okay with. We're going to do the little trick and retrain him as a left mid. One, it'll make him more versatile. And two, uh, it should improve him a little bit quicker. Let's just see how Teddy Little grows. And one of the center mids I really want is Wanted. He's in ongoing negotiations, but he's with a, a French League Earn side. And I don't really believe we can compete right now with that. So we're, we're going to leave that one. I'm going to go in for Jason Knight. Again, I think his versatility is great. He's not going to cost me that much money. He's only 21, so he's going to continue to grow into the mid-70s, I imagine. We could get our first transfer done of this Blackburn series. We've got 2.1 million here and hope that they accept it. They're going to say straight up 2.1 million is great. They'd be a little bit shrewd with our money because we want as much money as humanly possible for when we actually climb to the prem. But that's this season or not, we don't know. I'm going to accept important, take a four-year contract with no release clause. Let's see how much money he wants. His current wage isn't that high, so I'm just going to say three grand and 100k. He's going to fire back. He wants a little bit more money, which I guess is acceptable. I don't really like the appearance fee, but we're going to accept this one and get the deal for Jason Knight done. I'm actually really excited to have Jason in the starting 11 as well because he can slot in instantly as our second best central midfielder. And the fact that he can play on the left-hand side... Makes me really excited as well because I felt like we lacked a lot of creativity in that first game against Reading. First transfer of this series is clearly going to be Neff. Oh, that's not a great way to start, it, is it? Could have saved 900k, they reckon. 1.2 million. I don't think 2.1 million was too bad of a transfer deal. We're going to take on Luton next then. Trip to London. This is going to be our starting 11. The only change is Knight coming in. He starts. And I'm also going to give Markambe the start on the left-hand side. If we get a little bit more creativity out of him than we did Sammy. I really... And I mean really when I get our first goal of the series here against Luton. Oh, Dolan's nicked that away from them. Huge mistake there. Dolan do now. I'm just going to have to drill it from that position. Oh, Dolan. 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 Is he going to be a star? He scores the first goal of this career mode. It's not really a surprise to me. I knew this guy was going to be good. But what a finish from that angle. And he made it all himself. He went, do you know what, Gaffer? I got you. I will do this for the team. He stole the ball back. And just what a finish. Does not come better than that. For the first goal of this series, Harry's Dolan, hopefully, going to be an absolute superstar. And have we already seen the change in the tactic? Because we're trying to do that. I want to win the ball back. I want to catch teams out high up the pitch. And that's exactly what Dolan did. This is a good ball down wide. But, I mean, he hasn't got anyone to aim for. So he has to pull it all the way back. Oh, that's great play. That's a great goal. You can't mark that. What? A burst of pace, that was. You can really feel it when you've got players this slow as well. And look at that. He just takes out everyone. Well, we cut ourselves to lead, but we didn't keep it long. So we score our first goal and concede our first goal. Panzer is going to be the one that we have to watch out for in this match by the looks of it. See if we can work anything here. Diaz. Oh, that might have been perfect if Makambe and Diaz was on the same wavelength. I think that's a goal. Oh, this could be dangerous. I mean, we've just been cut out of position. Again, this could be two. What a save from Kaminsky. Definitely not a first half to remember. And weirdly, I don't know why, the, the player indicator is not working. Should say the name above. Maybe a, a restart of FIFA will tweak that. But yeah, it should say the name above. We are going to have to find ways to win with this Blackburn side. But I mentioned it. It'll just take a little while. We need to learn the squad. You never hit the ground running. That's a great ball in. You're never going to hit the ground running. And honestly, everyone is so much more sluggish. And we get the ball away. We can't. Oh, my God. What a tackle that is. Absolutely unreal. And we're being made to look stupid. Luton really deserve another goal at this stage. And Kaminsky. Oh, it's off the pot. Can you believe that? 
My defender lets it drop straight. Straight to their striker. How infuriating is this? I mean, it's a great save and then it's off the post, but what's the defender doing? What is he just boot it? Well, we may have got our first goal, but we are looking like we're heading for our first defeat. And we're going to make a whole host of changes because we haven't done anything. We've, we've been absolutely useless in this game. We're going to have some serious work with this Blackburn side if we are to have... A successful future. That ball goes all the way across. We get our first goal in the opening moments of this one, but it's going to be a defeat. We really just weren't at the races. Again, I just am lacking all creativity. So, looting up next, this is going to be a quick sim. I, I really don't care about the Carabao Cup. I don't care about any cups this season. I just care about getting this team together and hopefully being able to have any kind of impact in the league. It's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. We're going to go through on penalties. Having scoring the goal in normal time. I mean, we'll take that. At least we're through to the next round. And offered a swap deal here for Teo Eden, who, I mean, he's not starting. He's a centre mid called Freddy. I'm going to reject it, but he is someone who maybe we will sell. I don't want to get most people's feedback before we start selling some of the more regular players out. The first transfer offer for Ben Berrett and Diaz. You know we're not selling him in this window. We might not even sell him in January. What we will do is say, if we're not even in the title race, then he could be sold in January. But right now, he stays for at least this half of the season. Next up, Wigan, then. This is going to be another sim. Hopefully, this is the kind of team that we might be able to pull off a result against in the simulation. It's going to be a 1-1 draw. Bradley, that with a goal. I am getting an injury, though, which is frustrating. Keane scored early on for Wigan. It's going to put Hyam out for three weeks as well. That's really frustrating. I'm going to actually give the opportunity to the youngster, Carter, instead of uh, giving it to Ayala. Next up, Burnley. Definitely one of the sides that you expect to do well this season and potentially even win the league. Gonna be our starting 11. I've tweaked the tactic again. I just felt like we weren't getting bodies forward. And you guys will know if you've watched the series before, I'm not the greatest at defending on FIFA, but as long as I have a tactic that will allow me to score goals, we're golden. I just don't feel like we could do that in the last formation. So we've got centre mids now instead of CDM. But the players are going to have to get used to that, but it'll be absolutely fine. This is also a derby game as well. That should be noted. We're at Turf Moor, and I just need a lot more out of Ben Berrett and Diaz in this one. Bradley Dak has been dropped. We're going with Buckley because uh, Buckley looks really good. At 22, he could grow as well. The player indicators, though, is still not showing up, which is really weird. I'm really confused why the indicator is not showing up. But we have to be focused here on Burnley, who goes straight through and make it 1-0. We weren't focused. We were focused on the indicators. And just like the Spurs series, we concede very early into this game. Rodriguez with the goal. Focus, Yorkie. Focus on the game and the derby in hand. Let's just focus on that right now. But, yeah, the indicator should say the player's name, which is making it more difficult for me to learn the players because... I kind of know who I'm controlling, but it makes it way more difficult to commentate when I don't 100% know. And some of the passing, this Blackburn side is awful. I think the game in general is bugged, though, because that scoreline update keeps coming up. And there's no update. He has. I mean, it's a good position, but he's, he's just squandered it instantly. Really poor. Can we do out there from Dolan? <sighs> it's a good save. Knock that one over. Dolan really needs help, though. Can I swing in across? I can. It's not a bad one. Oh, what a save. What a save. Again, I think that's Buckley. Don't know because the indicator is not working, but that was a great save. Only do now, piling forward. They're going to surely try and pull it back. They do pull it back, and it's poor for Rodriguez in the end. I'm going to try and just loft that one into Diaz. And uh, it's a tight angle. It really was. Diaz now, he can hold it up, but he, he can't hold it up forever. And Buckley just makes zero run whatsoever. He just stands there in the way, and you're like, why, Buckley? Please make that run. Can position so far, not really having much success. We've had moments in this game, but nothing special. And what a save, Kaminsky. Again, not a very good performance. I actually feel like there's a lot of work here to be done with this Blackburn side, which is great because it's going to make this series all the more enjoyable. But Burnley didn't really create anything but win the game, and we just can't score. And I think what's worrying me the most is the star player that I couldn't wait to use, Ben Barrett and Diaz, just has done absolutely nothing. The final game of the episode is against Hull. We're going for the win, boys. We're really going for the win. I'm going to try Ben Barrett and Diaz as the left winger and Gallagher up top. We're just going to give that a go. I do feel like in this Blackburn side, though, we don't have any striker that is my kind of striker. A player that is very good at getting in behind with pace. Like, Dolan suits me perfectly. But... Berrett and Diaz doesn't feel like he can do that, so I can't love balls over the top. And I'm pretty sure Gallagher's not that kind of striker either. Right, let's do this. Let's get ourselves just at least one win, right, in this episode. Just a one win in this episode. Please let us do that. Dolan's going to be in here. 
He scored from a dodgy angle before, but this time it's blocked. Ellen might be in again here. I'll take that one inside, actually, please. I'll take that one in inside. Can I get it into Gallagher? I can. His touch, though, is a little bit suspect. And without a victory here, that will be, what, five games in the championship? None won. Uh, and just a real sign of how difficult this first season could be with the squad that we've got. Oh, my God. Okay. Hull have just scored a screamer. I 100% feel like my defenders are just stuck in mud. I'm loving it, though. But, oh, my God. You don't stop them. Pick that one out of the net. And I'm getting a familiar feeling of what we've experienced so far as Blackburn manager. Come Hull again. That was a, a poor pass. I, I mean, the control of these players is scary bad. It is scary bad. How much the first touch control is just horrendous for this level of player. Gallagher's going to be played in it. Can I just get off a shot? It'd be handy. Oh, he scored it just before the halftime whistle. Gallagher, our number nine, makes it 1-1. It's about time we had a bit of luck go our way. It was a really difficult shot to take on, but if we know we can trust him to do that, he'll play more. Only our second goal this season scored by me, and it's going to be Sam Gallagher. It would just ultimately be a very nice touch. We could end this episode with a win. A couple of draws as well in this one. So it wouldn't put us in the world's worst league position, I don't imagine. And we've still got time in the window and time for you guys to have a bit of your input and say. I'm going to bring off Dolan. I'm going to bring on Hedges. He's absolutely knackered. And I'm a bit worried how much we're going to have to lean on him this year. I'm not sure about the players we've got in reserve. Now, I do remember that when we did the sliders, because we were Tottenham, this is probably why. No, don't concede now. What a tack. Oh, don't bounce back to him. Oh, my God. It goes beyond the pose. Now, when we did the Spurs series, not that it's ended, but doing the Spurs series, the, we changed the first touch control error down to 40 or up to 40 so that we'd have really poor first touches. I might need to tweak that because our first touch control error here... He's a little bit too horrendous for Black, but oh, is he in? If I've timed it right, he's in, and it's two. Is this in? It is. It's going to count. I don't know who it is. It's Knight. It's Knight with his first goal for Blackburn. Can't wait to have the player indicators back again. I just spotted him in an acre, but I thought he might be off. Let's not talk too soon because Hull aren't going to be easy. Oh, they're not going to be easy, Kaminsky. Oh, we get lucky. Side net in. But let me know what you think when it comes to the first touch control because I'm happy to keep it like this and us just struggle in these early seasons while we've got players like we've got. I'm genuinely cool with that. I'm, I'm actually happy with it. That is a great ball in. I can't fire off the shot. Tried to get it on his stronger foot. Oh, are they giving him that space? Hurst? What a shot. What a save. I think he's off anyway. Oh, he wasn't off. It's going to be our first corner, actually. If this is our first corner of this series. Imagine if we score the first corner of the series. It'd be great. Ben Burton Diaz. Oh, it's off the line. Oh, my God. This will be the last act of the game. Let's whip in a corner. Let's see what we could do with it. Going to look for someone to get their head on it. We can't. We'll bring that down on the volley. Oh, my God. What a goal that would have been. But it doesn't matter because we do have our first one in the series. How bad of a first episode would that have been if we'd have gone through the entire episode without a victory? But, yeah, there's a lot of learning to do with this squad and these players because I'm not lying. They are horrendous to play with right now. Jason Knight getting a goal in this episode and our first signing and only signing of this one. Going to give you guys a little bit of time now to give me your feedback. I appreciate it. Each and every one of you, I'm looking forward to the next episode and how well this one does. That is going to be it for me, and I will see you in the next episode, where hopefully we can bring in some more numbers to help improve some of these score lines.